welcome back. Today we are doing our long-awaited trends video. Yes, it's about shoe trends for the summer. I know in the summer we generally think that there's nothing we can use to decorate our feet except for flip-flops, but that is not true. Today we're showing you the biggest shoe trends for the summer and also we're lucky enough to have Christine. Hey guys, it's Christine from Karma Love and I am a fashion, lifestyle, beauty, blogger, and YouTuber. And I'm so happy to be here with Helen to talk to you guys about this coming summer's shoe trends. So let's get started. Trend number one, gladiator sandals. So gladiator sandals actually started in the Roman days because they were actually the simplest form of shoe. Think about it, it's just a sole and you basically tie strings around it to wrap around your leg. But they officially came into trend or modern day wardrobe in the 60s when mini skirts started becoming in because you can actually see those shoes. In the 70s, the boho vibe also brought them back into the modern day. And they kind of went out of style for a while, but they're coming back in with a resurgence of 60s uh, ma trend as well as 70s hippie trend. Yeah, I think the rise of the whole 70s trend had a lot to do with people starting to wear gladiators again. I also love how it goes really well with the boho vibe. And I also really, really love how it's a statement shoe and it pulls the whole outfit all together. All right, so the second trend we want to talk about is the heritage Birkenstocks trend. So Birkenstocks have made a real comeback in the last three years. In addition to that, Birkenstocks inspired thick strap shoes are in. So that's basically giving it a more mod feel and it's less feminine, more androgynous. You can really see shoe designers getting inspiration from Birks this season with the wide double strap and creating thick straps on sandals, but more of them are going along with the gladiator look by creating crisscrosses and multiple straps. Trend number three we're seeing is pointed flats. They're kind of like this at the top as pointed flats, but they are replacing the round ballet flats that we've been seeing that are that that is a little bit more feminine. If you remember us talking about the French Revolution and the artists, they became bohemians and they had to walk around the French cobblestone streets because they were poor. So they had to walk around in flats instead of heels because you know flats were realistic. And pointed flats are very in this season. And the summer flats are always a stable because summer wears a lot more casual and flats fit perfectly into that theme. Plus, they're not as heavy, so it's perfect for when it's hot out. Another big trend we wanted to talk about is fringe. So fringe was actually really a trend that was used by uh, Native Americans. They used it to repel rainwater. But they also came into fashion during the 70s when the plight of minority groups like the Native Americans was really a focus. So a lot of fashion was taken or inspired by Native Americans. And they're coming back in again as the resurgence of the 70s trend. And now the studies coming back, fringes being added to every part of fashion, even shoes. I think it's definitely a cool and different look for shoes and definitely adds movement. Another trend we want to talk about is mules. It's such a funny sounding name because a lot of people think that mules came from the name because those shoes look like mules when in reality it was actually a Roman word, mulus, which is purple shoes worn by high society. But these days mules are in because they're the epitome of anti-local motion. So if you wear them, you don't really have to walk. So it's very in sync with fashion. I think mules are coming back because they definitely have a retro feel to them and a lot of designers nowadays are putting a youthful spin on them to bring them into the modern age. So that sums up our true trend for the summer. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. It was so nice chatting with you guys. Be sure to check out the collab I did with Shiktopia on my channel. We did a quick little shoe haul for you guys and I hope to see you there. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and leave it in the comments what your favorite summer shoe trend is and we'll see you next time. Bye.